It's a sweet spot. We've migrated uh, out of the Times building, which is no longer, strictly speaking, at Times Square. It's very close, um, so we're here a lot. Uh, we're here a lot. Hello Kitty's here. Mickey Mouse is here. This is the, the, the crossroads of the world. It's this um, kind of extraordinary environment. This place is home to the busiest people in the world, right? They're yes. crisscrossing, yes. they're going back and forth. Yes. They have plots to take over the world. And what do they make their way to? The least busy people in America whose well, job is to walk with their heads up, stand on corners. And it provides you if it, with, with a mark of, you know you've become a real New Yorker because most real New Yorkers came here from somewhere else. You know you become a, a real New Yorker when you walk through here and you're like a tourist uh, grumbling about all these people from out of town who are, of course, keeping our economy afloat. And the thing is, during the day, I'm not that fond of Times Square. Look around you, no. it's noisy, it's dirty. At night, I will often detour to come down this canyon full of lights. It's beautiful. It's unbelievable. It's and beautiful. you can full pretend of, to hate it, but it's not gonna do Full of people. Anything. Now, it used to be something else. The, 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 the story of Times Square is the story of its, of its kind of rise and fall. I mean, when I was a kid and I used to come to New York to visit my grandparents, like this was not a place. You see, you see kids. You know, you can you can come out of a show at midnight and you see families with kids walking. Yeah, around. walking around. That you was see not seven-year-olds wandering around Times Square, 20, all, all but by themselves. Twenty-five years Our colleague years ago, Randy, was done. Randy Kennedy used to work in Times Square back when it was Times Square. The ski scary. We're going to talk with him all a little right. bit about that. Once I got used to it and working at night, it was nice, it was romantic. You sort of felt like you had the whole place to yourself. You cover nice. art for the paper. Hasn't there been some great art done there, in Times Square? There has been great art. Like where else can you find for video art TVs this big and billboards this big to do visual art? Like, you know, painters like Alex Katz have done these incredible portrait heads here. And, and like one block north, there's a work that nobody ever sees it's by Max Newhouse that was installed in the late 70s and it's under the ground, it's under a grate. But if you're walking one block north of here, you walk and you can hear this sort of oral, this sonic thrum coming out from under the ground. No! Let's go, can we go see it? We can go see it. Right, we should go see it. see it. It isn't there. It's still there, it's on. It should be on right now. If it's not, I'll be disappointed. It's made up. It's not made up. I, it's not made, made up. up. It's not, no. There is no art. In it was there. it was turned off for a lot of years and then they they reactivated it. But it was first here in like this late 70s. Okay, I'm side betting you a dollar. Hear it? Yeah. Hear it? Kind of sounds like the subway. Kind of sounds like science fiction. And what is it? Like what is the? Uh... It's just a it's a speaker under there, and it's making this kind of just like ominous. This. Like if you were hearing this, if you were hearing this in 1977, like. It, oh my God. You, you would it, think you were in the Warriors or yeah, something. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, where is it loudest? New York. It's right. Here, are you getting the mic? Because you hear it, you hear it echoing. I have to say, that looks like an art installation. Any of all those, like the cigarette butts and wrappers. Wow. I'm glad you came. We would have never found this. The secret lost Times Square. That's right. Is this the best place in the world or the worst place in the world? It's both. It's both. You know, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. If you can stand it here, you can stand it anywhere. <laughs> the funny thing is, when people want to come and see America, this is what they think America is. Well, isn't it?